the Scottish referendum campaign showed up the BBC in its worst possible light for everyone in Scotland to see. You see other people and how upset they are and it's so tangible. And then you start thinking, well, why is nobody doing anything? How do they just get away with this? Good Morning Scotland was astonishing. It was incredible, the, the bias, the, the, the repetition. Like, like almost, you know, almost Nazi propaganda. The, the, the hypnotic repetition of negativity. The BBC gave a Conservative MP over an hour to make a documentary saying that the sense of Scottish nationhood wasn't real, that it was a myth, that it was unjustified. The Yes campaign started to become, in media terms, Alex Salmond's campaign. They tore after Alex Salmon, they like, demonised him and villainised him. Moses, sorry, Alex Salmon. Moses, Alex Salmon. In Scotland, people could see that there was a massive gap between what the BBC was reporting and the truth. People then suddenly realised, wow, maybe they're not actually telling us the truth about anything else. Mick Robinson. Why should a Scottish voter believe you, a politician, against men who are responsible for billions of pounds of profits. He didn't answer. He didn't answer. It was an attempt, a serious and negative attempt at propaganda, which just blew up in the face of the BBC. All of these um, predictions about, do these doom and gloom predictions about Scotland completely ignored what state could actually be created. Maybe these, maybe all of these doom and gloom scare stories are just are, are, are just big, fat lies. Gavin Essler has this exclusive report. It's not journalism. It's a peddling of state propaganda made and paid for by the BBC.